Hi everyone, thank you all for your kind words and support after releasing my first YouTube video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kevin Yu and I am a registered marriage and family therapist. And today I wanted to share with you two effective ways to help manage your anxiety through breathing and thought restructuring. I noticed that many people that I've been talking to have been experiencing higher levels of anxiety in the last couple of months, which makes a lot of sense given the circumstances that everyone's experiencing in the world that heightened levels of anxiety is on the rise. And I wanted to provide you some actionable items that you can use to help manage the anxiety you might be experiencing. So let's talk a little bit more about anxiety and what is anxiety. Here is some background information about anxiety. And I like the way Dr. Tanya Jovanovic explained it. And anxiety is one of the most common mental health disorders out there. And one out of 14 people in the entire world might be affected by some sort of anxiety. Including myself, I deal with anxiety all the time. I just wanted to provide some context that a lot of people deal with anxiety and it is totally okay. And we just wanna make sure that our anxiety is manageable and that it's not taking over our lives. A good indicator when to seek help is when your anxiety is affecting your everyday life. And I know high levels of anxiety is awful. To be honest, it sucks when you're experiencing the uncomfortable physical sensations and thoughts that are going on in that particular moment. So kind of on our end, therapists are gonna to wanna to figure out what type of anxiety you might be experiencing because there's so many out there. And what anxiety do you have is going to help paint a better picture for us during treatments. Is this just normal everyday anxiety or is this debilitating anxiety? And there's a spectrum to that. And that's why a good assessment tool to use is called the Generalized Anxiety Disorder 7 or the GAD-7. And it's just a seven question assessment that helps you assess your levels of anxiety. The first exercise that I wanted to share is breathing. I'm a big advocate on focusing on breathing and using this as a tool to help you reduce the anxiety you might be experiencing. And by focusing on the breath first, we're able to change our body chemistry, and our physical sensations. So in the meantime, practice breathing when you are not experiencing anxiety or low levels in a quiet and comfortable environment. Then when you feel confident and comfortable and have a better grasp on your own breath, then you can implement your new skill while you're experiencing any level of anxiety. So this breathing technique that I learned was actually introduced to me by a series of workbooks that I use called Treatments That Work, uh, Mastery of Your Anxiety and Panic. And in this book, it explains the first step is to focus on taking breaths down to your belly and incorporating belly breathing into your breathing work. And on every inhale, making sure that your belly is rising and by every exhale, making sure that your belly is being sucked in. And in the beginning, to figure that out, just place a hand on your chest and place the hand on your belly and just breathe normally and see what is rising and what is lowering. So on every inhale, think or say out loud the number one. Then on every exhale, think or say relax. Then inhale, think two and exhale, say relax. Continue until you reach 10 and then go back to one. Try to focus only on the breathing and the words there is going to be thoughts coming into your mind and that's natural. When that happens, no need to get upset and give up. Simply acknowledge the thought and let it pass and then bring your attention back to your breathing, the numbers and the words. And I know in the beginning, this is gonna be very difficult, breathing in, saying a number, breathing out and saying relax. Just take time, be patient with it. Start off by monitoring and writing down a daily breathing record. Every day, take some time. It could be a minute, it can be 10 minutes, depending on how you're feeling. Write down the anxiety level that you have before you start the exercise and write it after you complete the breathing workout. The breathing log is important because it starts giving you data about your anxiety levels and what the effects have been from breathing 
day to day. And there's a lot of breathing exercises out there. This is just one that I found useful and beneficial. And by controlling our breath, we are one step closer in controlling our body. So now after we started to learn how to control our breathing, we move on to our second exercise and that is thought restructuring. We wanna know what thoughts are occurring when you are experiencing high levels of distress because thoughts have an influence on your emotions. An easy way to identify an automatic thought is when you are experiencing any type of emotions, ask yourself, what are you thinking at that given time? What were you thinking about that gave you that anxiety? Whether it's through physical sensations, like your increased heart rate, the use of imagery, picturing, a certain time or situation that caused you anxiety. And this just gives us a lot more data when we're able to identify the automatic thoughts because most of the time they're not true. They could be embedded from childhood experiences, certain situations that led to a lot of heightened anxiety. And if you need more help identifying your automatic thoughts, I provided in the description below a list of 50 and more positive and negative automatic thoughts. And after identifying an automatic thought, now we can use that information and input that into a thought record. And a thought record is a tool that a lot of therapists use to recognize and challenge your unhelpful thoughts. I will also include a blank template in the description below that you can use and try at home. Also, I will give you an example of a classmate's thought record that she was kind enough to share with you all. And in the bottom of the thought record, there's gonna be questions that you can use to help you guide to fill out the columns. So in that specific trigger or situation, what happened? So just writing down what happened, and then next begin writing down the feelings that you're experiencing and rating it from zero to 100 and how strong that emotion was. And what emotion did I feel at that time? After filling out your feelings and emotions, then write down the automatic thoughts, unhelpful thoughts, or images that occurred. What went through my mind when I was feeling this emotion during this certain situation. So after writing down our unhelpful thoughts or automatic thoughts, write down the facts that support the unhelpful thought. What are the facts? What facts do I have that the unhealthy thoughts are totally true? And so this is to provide some evidence that your unhelpful thoughts were true. And then after completing that, now we do the exact opposite, facts that provide evidence against the unhelpful thought. So what facts do I have that the unhelpful thoughts are not totally true? So after writing about the facts that provide evidence against the unhelpful thought, we write alternative, more realistic and balanced perspective. So this is where we actually start changing and this is where the thought restructuring happens. And a great question to ask is, what would someone else say about this situation? So if you're talking to a friend, what would you say to them if they're experiencing this thought in their mind and they were saying it out loud to you? And after you take that perspective, now we wanna do the outcome and re-rate that emotion. So from the emotions that we were experiencing initially, that might've been 90%, and then after doing the adaptive thoughts and the different evidence-based supported questions, maybe our emotions went down to maybe a 50%. And if we start noticing in a lower emotion, that is great. And the primary goal for thought restructuring is not to eliminate anxiety, but instead to help correct mistakes in your thinking so that you may move forward and face the situation that is causing you the anxiety in the first place. And keep practicing identifying your automatic thoughts and then inputting those automatic thoughts into your thought record. Over time, it's gonna become second nature. So now wrapping all these things together. First, we wanted to focus on the breathing and now we wanted to focus on the thought restructuring. And now the question is, how do we use this when an anxious situation occurs? And that's a great question. So we wanna to count to 10 and on every inhale, we say the number and on every exhale, we say the word relax. So we go to one to 10 and then 10 to one. And after we complete our counting, feeling a little bit less anxious than we previously were, and now we start implementing the thought restructuring, noticing what thoughts are happening in that specific moment. And ask yourself the following question, what is it that I'm most worried about? What are the real chances of this happening? And what will I do to cope and manage this situation? After completing the exercise, write down, did the thing that you were most worried about actually happen and just write a yes or no and then write down the number of anxiety that you experienced from 1 to 10 and the rating of 10 could be the worst anxiety you've ever experienced and the rating of 1 could be just something meh 
please write these down into your notes on your iPhone, or if you have a journal, writing down is a great way to start tracking and compiling data of your anxious thoughts and your automatic thoughts, as well as the anxiety and seeing if the breathing and the thought restructuring has been changing at all. And remembering that anxiety can be managed with a lot of repetition and practice. And write down your accomplishments and milestones. And if you feel comfortable, please share them with me in the comments below. Thanks again for checking out this video. I hope these exercises give you some relief around your anxiety. Please leave any suggestions that you might have in the comments below, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Thank you.